Hello and good evening. You are watching TMB News. I'm Manju Sukha. Let's have a look at the top stories of the day. The first Foundation Day of Yelhomi Kanbalup Yemkal was observed at Manipur Press Club on Tuesday. Speaking on the occasion, Women Vendor Association Nambal Bazar President A. Chandralekha Lema pointed out the valuable contribution of Yemkal in providing logistic support to the women vendors in carrying out their protests at Jantar Mantar in New Delhi against the ethnic violence in Manipur. She mentioned as to how seven imams from Sekmai have shown off their dresses recently to go bald, symbolizing the immense suffering the people of the state are going through under the ongoing ethnic conflict. The deplorable road stretch from Wankham to Irilbung Bridge, filled with several potholes along the Imphal Yaripok Road, was repaired by PDA Chairman Laurembam Rameshwar Mite and the volunteers of Salaita Pibaral Punshimarup SPBM on Tuesday. All the machinery required for repairing the road by filling the potholes were provided by Laurembam Rameshwar Mite, who is also the legislator of Kairau Assembly constituency. The volunteers of SPPM provided all the assistance in repairing the road. Sagulban legislator R.K. Imo has initiated the distribution of CGI sheets to some households affected by the recent hailstorm in his constituency on Tuesday. In his social media post, R.K. Imo disclosed that his official workers took the trouble of going all the way to Kangatombi for purchasing the CGI sheets which are not easily available at the market to help rebuild the houses of those affected by the health storm by distributing it to them. He informed that his official staff and members of polling committees of Ward number 7 and 10 have already started the distribution and soon all the remaining wards will also start receiving the CGI sheets in his constituency. Lokin Angom, president of Yelomi Kanbalup, spells out how the civil society organization was formed on May 7 last year at the Apunba Club in Urembam by several like-minded local bodies and villages soon after the cookie terrorists unleashed their violent attacks on innocent civilians by ruthlessly burning down their houses, killing and displacing them to mitigate their woes as it completes one year of its formation while vowing to help the people in future. The Supreme Court on Tuesday posed a key question to the Enforcement Directorate as it heard Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's plea against his arrest in the alleged liquor policy scam. The court asked the central agency if there was evidence that points towards his guilt and other that points towards his innocent, which can be selectively picked by the Enforcement Directorate and whether it was an administrative task. Calling for striking a balance between the two, the Apex Court observed that one cannot exclude only one aspect and deprive a person of their right to life. Voting was held in 93 constituencies across 11 states and union territories on Tuesday in the third phase of Lok Sabha elections. The stakes are particularly high for the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, which had won an overwhelming majority of the seats in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, leading the NDA to a broad majority. In the third phase, over 1,300 candidates, including around 120 women, are vying for seats in the lower house of the parliament. The fate of Union Ministers Amit Shah, Jyoti Raditya, Skindya and Mansuk Mandavia and former Madhya Pradesh Chief Ministers Shivra Singh Chauhan, Vidisha and Dig Vijaya Singh Rajgar are being decided on Tuesday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi encouraged high voter turnout in the ongoing Lok Sabha polls, stating that increased participation will enhance the vibrancy of the election. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who voted on Tuesday at a polling booth in Gandhinagar Lok Sabha constituency in the single phase voting for 25 seats in Gujarat, reached the polling booth at Nishan Public School in Ranib locality of Ahmedabad city soon after the polling began at 7 a.m. to cast his vote. Union Minister and Senior BJP Leader Amit Shah, who is contesting to retain the Gandhinagar Lok Sabha seat, was present when Prime Minister Narendra Modi reached the polling booth. Rajasthan Royals will look to reclaim the top spot in the IPL 2024 points table as they face inconsistent Delhi Capitals on Tuesday at Arun Jedi Stadium, New Delhi. 
Rajasthan has played quality cricket this season, but they failed to hold on to their nerves in the last match against Sunrisers Hyderabad and lost the close tie by one run. Samson and Co need just one win to seal the spot in the playoffs, while Delhi need to get their campaign back on track to keep their hopes alive. On the other hand, Capitals have been inconsistent so far, winning 5 and losing 6 of their last 11 games. While winning the remaining 3 games is a must for Pants men, even that only will take them to 16 points, which might not be enough to qualify for the last 4 stage of the tournament.